Hi everyone, today we are going to uh, see another uh, Singapore math problem. This problem was sent to us by one of our viewers, Nadia Akhtar. Thanks for sending this question, Nadia Akhtar. Let's go to the question. A dance club spent $922 on 40 items. The items include some hats and pairs of shoes. We don't know how many hats or how many pairs of shoes. Each hat cost $19 and each pair of shoes cost $25. How many pairs of shoes did the dance club buy? Now first, what we know is, we know that the total cost spent was $922 on hats and pairs of shoes. And the total number of shoes and hats together is 40. But we don't know how many hats or how many pairs of shoes. First, let's take the number of hats. Say we had one, two, three, so many of the hats, right? We do not know how many, but it's going to be continuously, it's going to be here. Uh, so it can be any number, right? So we let's represent that number with a variable x. We don't know how many, it could be 10, 15, 20, but since we don't know, we are saying, okay, let it be x. And number of uh, pairs of shoes, right? And again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do not know how many. It goes on. And uh, again, we can represent this with a variable y. So this again, I'm just guessing here, it, this number of pairs of shoes could be more than hats or less than hats, whatever it is, that, that number will be represented by y. Now let's go and look at what we know. The total number of items is 40 items. In terms of quantity, the number of hats, x, plus the number of shoe, shoes, y, that should be equal to 40. That is what we uh, understand from this statement here. Now, each of the, this we can represent it as equation number one. We have the first equation, uh, achieved here. So now we see that each of this hat here is $19. So we have so many $19. How many of the $19? X times $19. That gives the total cost of the hats. The total co cost of the hats can be found by how many hats? That is X times the cost of each hat $19. That gives the cost of the hats. Similarly, for the shoes, each shoe, each pair of shoe costs twenty-five dollars. So the total number of shoes is y. Y times twenty-five dollars will give the cost of the pairs of the shoes. And when we add these two, that gives the total amount of money spent ninety-two nine hundred and twenty-two dollars. So now we come to the cost. Cost is given as $19 times X, right? That is the cost of the total number of hats and $25 times Y, that is the total cost of the shoes. That is equal to $922, which gives us equation number two. Now in mathematical terms, we call this as simultaneous equations. We have two equations in X and Y. We can solve these equations and find the value of x and y. Now, we, if you want to understand, look at it like this. This is left hand side is equal to right hand side. Here again, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now, if we add these two the left hand sides, then that should be equal to the addition or sum of the right hand side quantities, right? Or we can subtract the left hand side and subtract the right hand side, then the equality will still be maintained. Now, here the question is how many pairs of shoes did the dance club buy? The number of pairs of shoes is represented by y. I want to find out y, right? So I want to remove x terms. One way of doing it is first here, I can multiply and divide both sides with the same quantity that will not disturb the equality symbol. Meaning I can multiply this by 19, for example, 19 times left hand side here, 
is will be equal to 19 times right hand side here right why i chose 19 is because if i subtract from this uh, 19 would uh, x terms would get eliminated so let's take equation number one and times it with 19 so that will be 19 times x will give us 19 x 19 times y will give us 19 y and 19 times 40 gives us 760. Now we have two equations, right? And I want to subtract this equation from this so that the x term gets cancelled off. 19x minus 19x is 0. So that term is eliminated. What is remaining is 25y times 19y, which is 6y. That should be equal to 922 minus 760, which is equal to 162. So 6 times y is equal to 162. So y would be equal to 162 divided by 6. Or in other words, y is 27. And we know that 27 or y represents the number of pairs of shoes. So this y is equal to 27. And the question is, how many pairs of shoes did the dance club buy? The answer would be the dance club bought 27 pairs of shoes. Hope this was helpful. I just drew this diagram so that it becomes easy to convert them into uh, equations first and then solve the equations. If you have any questions, as usual, please uh, uh, add, put them in the comment section. I will try to answer them. Do like the videos, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe if you want to see more such videos. Have a great day. Bye.